This does not exist, but if it did, the video for it would be as follows. Today we're talking about the E4 Mafia. Hypothetically speaking, all branches of the military have this organization. They go by a different name, but the concept is the same. For example, the Marine Corps calls theirs the Lance Corporal Underground. Easiest way I can explain this to you is it is always the highest rank that you can achieve without having to become an NCO. And in the United States Army, that rank is the E4 Specialist. AKA the Full Bird Private. Rank insignia that has become so notorious it is known as the Sham Shield. If you don't know, NCO stands for Non-Commissioned Officer. It is a leadership type role. You are responsible for both yourself and those below you. The point I'm trying to get across is that in theory, the E4 Specialist is the highest skilled, most experienced soldier you can be in the United States Army while also not having any responsibility at all. It's because of that E4s partake in what is known as shamming. When you're a lower enlisted person in the military, your only responsibility is to do what you're told. Shamming is the sweet, sweet, beautiful art of avoiding being told to do anything so that you may do nothing instead. I once knew an E4 that was so good at this, everybody called him the Shamurai. Another guy that was so good at going unnoticed, his code name was Waldo. At the beginning of every day, that guy would grab a random sheet of paper and walk with a purpose as if he had to get that sheet of paper to someone very important. At the time, that fucking sheet of paper was blank and he was just trying to make it to a secret hiding spot before anybody could tell him what to do. He once saw that same E4 walk boldly and assertively up to a door, open it, walk inside, and shut the door behind him. If you didn't know any better, you would assume it was a classroom or a hallway or something. It was a fucking mop closet and he took a 45 minute nap in there. Now here's the thing in the military, you have to go up the ranks. Everybody above the E4 specialist knows exactly what they're doing because they've been an E4 specialist themselves. Why would they let them get away with it? That's simple, it's because the NCOs want favors. See, the NCO Corps uses the E4 Mafia to do all the sketchy shit they know they can't get away with. I'm trying to tell you that the E4 Mafia provides the NCO Corps with plausible deniability. You need somebody to steal some shit? I mean, tactically acquire some shit? You call the E4 Mafia. You need somebody to commandeer a Humvee, drive it into town because you're out of cigarettes and energy drinks? Tell the E4s and then cover for them. Simply put, the E4 Mafia is who you call when you need results and you're willing to not ask how they got them. It is because of that that this rank is extremely dangerous. Bill Gates once said, I always give lazy people the hardest jobs because they find the easiest, most efficient way to do them. Uncle Sam does the same thing with E4s. For example, 99% of all machine gunners ever are E4. As I'm sure you can imagine, if you were the bad guy, the last guy you want to have the machine gun is the guy that has a vested interest in hurrying this shit up so he can take a nap. You can lay out a day and a half of work and tell the E4 Mafia they can go home when it's done, that shit will be done by lunch. I'm trying to tell you that if you're a bad guy and you're surrounded by a bunch of E4s, the last thing you want to be is considered the work. You're gonna get fucking done up quick. I'm trying to tell you there's absolutely no faster way to find out that it's not a war crime the first time than to get between an E4 and nap time. Rumor has it the E4 Mafia is just a think tank for the Geneva Convention because there's absolutely no one in the world better at exploiting loopholes than the American E4. In conclusion, the E4 Mafia is a dangerous sham syndicate that is committed to either doing absolutely nothing or absolutely anything as quickly as possible in order to get back to doing nothing. That's if it were real, which it isn't. You didn't hear any of this shit from me. Merch store and other links available at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out. Sweetheart, pack your shit. We're going into witness protection.